Hi loves and welcome to the message. Hope that you guys are all doing good at this time. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Erica. I'm a psychic medium, oracle, and prophetess. Uh, welcome to the High Vibe Tribe. We are a pillar of light channel. Those of you guys returning, welcome back. Mi amores. So you guys have seen the title. You guys already know the kind of energy and why you're here around this channeled message. If you are new here, I usually receive the messages, the energies, visions, dreams, downloads, and then I come and I share with you guys what has come through. And then of course I will um, pull some cards to clarify, to dig deeper, to see what the universe has, you know, what else the universe wants to say, etc. Okay. So this is going to be, <clears throat> it's for the, um, past life soulmate or twin flame collective, but I'm going to say this is like very heavy, um, twin flame energy. It's not like not everyone here is a twin flame, but because I am a twin flame reader and a twin fl on my own twin flame journey, it's just, it's a strong energy that comes to the channel. I just saw one, 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 which is funny because look, one, one, one. Okay. That is a huge synchronicity. Um, I feel for a lot of divine unions that are ready to come together or getting getting very, very, very close to having some kind of physical union or, you know, big breakthrough moment in, in the 3D. Okay. So <clears throat> the divine masculine to the divine feminine, and I did put like TF, like twin flame. Okay. So one, one, one is going to be a huge sink, but more than that, I actually have a whole channeled message, um, from the divine masculine. Um, so Sometimes when I'm channeling, if it's like, if it's like, if there's just like a lot coming through, um, I'll grab my pen and paper and I'll channel, right? And usually channel writing, um, helps to, um, isolate a certain message or certain feelings or emotions, energies that want to come through. And it did. Okay. So the divine, first of all, there's a song, two, 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 there's a song here. And it's Morgan Wallen, okay? Morgan Wallen, ooh, ooh. and the song is it's it's my favorite Morgan Wallen song, um, and the song is called "Cover Me Up." Um, and I keep hearing like I've been hearing it ever since I woke up this morning, <clears throat> but I keep hearing when he says um, he says. Girl, leave your boots by the bed. We ain't leaving this room, right? Till someone needs medical help or the magnolias bloom. It's cold in this house and I ain't going out to chop wood. So cover me up and no what is, what is it? I know you're enough to use me for good. Okay. So, um, I just keep hearing it though. Okay. But it's, and then I keep hearing the part where he says home was a dream. One that I'd never seen until you came along. So now with that being said, okay, if I remember, I'll pin the song down below. If this is your reading, I highly suggest listening to the song, uh, at least reading the lyrics. Okay. If it doesn't send chills through your body for confirmation, um, maybe it's not your message. No, I'm just kidding. But, um, but no, it should. That's what I mean. It's such a powerful sync and the words are so important. Okay. So the divine masculine is saying to the divine feminine at this time, I feel this shift happening within me. Something that I, I can't explain, but I tremendously feel. Your presence is all around. I feel you as a part of me, as if you're inside every inch of my being. You have left a permanent mark upon me. I have let so much time pass. I have let so much time pass. <laughs> Hold on, let me read my own writing. I let so much time pass by and now I am worried my actions or inactions has left me without you. It's been so long, my love, yet I feel you, I, yet I feel you're the only one 
I trust and truly belong with. I feel safe when I think of you. I want to share some things with you. I want to open up. Will you receive me? And then I put divine feminine rising and masculine. So um, what that means is the masculine's inner feminine is rising up, right? They're connecting to the soul. They're learning more and more to release control um, and, and to kind of be more in the flow, surrender. They're connecting more with their heart instead of resisting it. Um, and it really does feel like like they want to come home. Okay, like they know that you're home. Okay, so to start off this reading, I'm going to get And I, I I especially love the part where the masculine says, um, I the very first thing, I feel this shift happening within me. So it's like they're consciously aware of the shift of the expansion, growth, the change. Okay, there's just this like, you know, big fish in a small pond, whatever has been going on in their life, they have outgrown it. They're no longer interested in it. Now, for those of you guys where there could be a third party uh, person involved here, um, the masculine is in deep regret for choosing someone else over you, who they feel and know to be their true divine love and soulmate or twin flame, their counterpart. They are seeing the falseness of the person they're with and the situations they're in. Okay. I'm hearing, I'm tired of trying to talk myself into being happy. So, I mean, they're literally, um, yeah, see, so they're going through a process of you know, lead into gold, which is funny because I actually posted that in my Instagram story this morning. I said something and I said, lead into gold. Oh, it was because of the high winds. There's high winds here today where I live, like super high winds, blowing stuff all over the place, knocking stuff down. And, you know, I'm very sensitive to energy, to the weather, to everything, right? It's oftentimes how I get my readings, my messages. This wind, and it's not like this all the time with wind, but this wind for me is representative of some very powerful shifts and change, the winds of change. I just saw 88808. Okay, so you guys could be getting a lot of that, the eights, 88888 you know, uh, other numbers that are breaking down to eight, like you might see like 35 or 53, you know, things like that. Okay. So let's get an alchemy card here. This is the wild unknown alchemy Oracle by Kim Kranz. I absolutely freaking love her decks. Um, and this one, for some reason, I'm being very called, uh, at this time to consistently use it. Um, you know, and I always follow my intuition and the feelings on what decks to use for what messages, etc. Okay, so let, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. All right. So, all right. So you've left a permanent mark upon me. I have let so much time pass by and now I'm worried my actions and inactions has left me without you. It's been so long, my love, yet I feel you're the only one that I can truly trust and belong with. They feel safe with you. There's this deep underlying, there's this deep inner knowing. It's their heart and soul. It's their intuition. It's the familiarity of who you are and who you've been for them. And the fact that you've been holding sacred space for, for them to, um, to heal and to rise up. Okay. Um, they are aware that you have surrendered up physical union. They are aware that you are not waiting on them, that you are not coming in to, you know, try to, you know, and that's what it is. Like, this was like a baffled energy because this person was someone who, 
you know, um, let's say it's a, you know, a masculine, a man, right? So this man would probably be someone who, you know, carried an energy of, you know, maybe, uh, obviously high ego, maybe some, you know, narcissistic tendencies possibly, but it's more so arrogance. It's more so like I'm God's gift to women. It's very King of Wands. They followed their passion and they followed the material things instead of their true heart and soul. And now they're in deep, deep regret in, in this. Okay. So the shifts happening within them is creating shifts happening outside of them, right? As within, so without. So that's kind of like what they're dealing with right now. All right. So give me the alchemy around this connection, the reddening iosis. All right. So let's see here. get one more. I'll read this in just a moment. You know, what's so funny is look at this lead into gold, lead into gold. I mean, I don't know if that's, that's what it looks like to me. We'll read, we'll read the, the message and the snake. This is Kundalini energy. This is root chakra energy. They're shedding old skins. They're going through a massive transformation and alchemy at this time. Literally, their life is the lead and everything they've been living in and the ways they've been living or their relationships, it's led into gold. Now they're, they're ready for the gold. They're, they're, they are alchemizing in a huge way. Let's get one more piece for the alchemy here. And I'll actually like get the message from the book too. Coagulation. All right. And then Mercury. Ooh. Mercury is the planet of communication. Okay, it's also um, um, oh my gosh, I just lost my train of thought. <laughs> oh well, I saw I just saw twelve twelve. Okay, so it'll circle back. Whatever, I forget what I was gonna say. But anyways, okay, and um, okay, so let's go ahead and read this really quick. Let's go ahead and see. Um, so no, you're enough to use me for good. So, so girl, lay your boots by my bed. Yeah, this is someone who wants to be all intertwined with you. They already feel intertwined with you. Like, they wanna be with you. They already feel like with you. Like, it's crazy, right? But it's, it's very strong what they're feeling right now and what you're feeling too. Okay. Um, here it is. Okay. So on 113 is the reddening and then let's see coagulation. Let's go ahead and find that really quick too. So 113. And 223. Okay. So 113 and 223. Here it is. Funny, I opened up, look at it. I opened it up to 111. You guys, I'm telling you, everything that I that I channel, it's always for a big reason. And I specifically put 111, and then when I started the reading, I saw 111, and now I accidentally just opened it up to 111. And literally, this one says, this is about the yellowing. So we're looking up the reddening. This is the yellowing. Aging, transitioning, and warning. This is this is about them a transition. This is them aging. It's a, it's a, it's a spiritual maturity, spiritual evolution. It's also a emotional maturity. This is someone who wants to come in and they want to have like a serious, they want to share with you really badly. Like, and it's like, they feel, they know that like they can talk to you with, and you're not going to come from a place of judgment. That's the safety part of it. You hold the space. Okay. Divine feminine for the divine masculine to rise up in their femininity and to heal that, that wounded, uh, distorted masculine where they feel they have to constantly be, you know, um, on high alert and defensive and protective of their heart and of their true feelings. So there's this extreme vulnerability that is rising up with this shift within them that's taking place. 
and it's their inner feminine and their inner feminine feels safe to open up to your inner feminine. Okay. It's, it's really beautiful. It's, it's, it's really beautiful actually. Um, and it shows that how, how much they're shifting. So aging and transitioning. Okay. So that's what they're doing. So the reddening on page 113, look at it. It says, okay, so to think about this card, think of the red of the heart. So they're talking about the red of the heart, but I'm telling you, this is also about root chakra and the Kundalini rising from the base of the spine upwards. Like this is like massive, um, transformation where they have felt like where their sense of like safety, security, stability has where they thought that was and where they thought that's like, they thought that what they were doing or living, that that was like, you know, what their idea of stability and safety, right. And all the things, but turns out that it's actually very unstable. They feel very ungrounded. I feel a lot of these masculines, they've been living under, you know, um, extreme stress. Okay. Um, They've been living under extreme stress and I feel for a lot of them like, you know, and, and it's like extreme stress and they also have, you know, a lot of stuff where exactly they, they have a lot of um, unhealed wounds, right? That have resurfaced to be healed. Okay. So there's a lot of like past wounds and, and things like that, that are being triggered and brought up. Now, specifically for a lot of them in third parties, it's being brought up and triggered through um, a relationship with a karmic partner, okay? So what's happening is the masculines are encountering the same kind of behaviors, patterns, and situations, right? They're seeing from previous relationships and patterns, and it's like smacking them right in the face, okay? And they're seeing right through it. And what they're doing now is they're healing it. Okay. They are breaking the wheel and the pattern once and for all. All right. So let me just go ahead and ask really quickly about this too. Like, let me just see, like, yeah, there it is. Death, whoops. Death card. Death card. Ending of cycles. This is huge. This is the transformation and change. This is them like they're really, they're like embracing this. They're changing. They're like ready for this. They're going through this massive transformation and they're ready, getting ready. They're going through this rebirth. Okay. And it's not even like a rebirth that it's like, yeah, they're like consciously, like I think manifesting like endings and new beginnings here in their life. But it's also just like, this is the universe stepping in and going, it's time for change. And the masculine is just aligning to it. Okay. When one door closes, another one opens. This is someone exactly who is, um, putting an end to painful cycles. Okay. This is someone who I feel has hit rock bottom. They feel like they can't, you know, there's really no way out except creating the endings necessary, whatever that looks like for them. But I think for a lot of them, yes, it's inspired by the feminine. There's a lot of that, you know, but it's like their own inner feminine desiring these transformations and wanting to rise up and be in their feminine power again once more, meaning being able to, you know, feel abundant and free and, you know, feel the love energy and, you know, all the things, do things that make them happy and, you know, whatever it is, right? Okay, I'm getting like a hassle free life. Um, and it's also someone who is creating endings to be single. It's, it's giving me the, the message here with the nine of pentacles of it's like right now they're in a 10 of pentacles, but it's a false 10 of pentacles for a lot of them. Okay. And those 10 of pentacles are ending and it's like, they're going, I'd rather be single. I'd rather go back to the nine of pentacles, regress a little bit. It's not even regress though. It's actually progression, but they might be looking at it as like going backwards. Like I'm also getting something about age with the yellowing. It said aging and transition. And I feel that I feel like someone is going, you know, I'm too old to be dealing with this shit. I'm too old to, you know, I'm too far along in life. I'm too old to be dealing with drama in love. Look at that. They're putting endings. Okay. To the pain endings, painful cycles. They could be going through very painful endings right now. Right. Okay. 
Um, and it's like in the name of love. It's in the name of love. I'm hearing I choose you. Yeah, exactly. King of Cups. He keeps showing up. He keeps showing up. Okay. When the King of Cups is showing up like this, it's someone who held back their feelings and their love and they want to do something about it. Okay. Look at I choose you. Look at see. I choose you. You're my true soulmate and partnership. Okay. You're my destined path. I'm putting an end to this false love situation or this, you know, endings to people that I thought were my true love or thought I would spend my life with. I would rather be single than deal with all this stuff. I feel I've outgrown it. I feel, you know, um, I just don't want it anymore. I just don't want it anymore. Okay. So, all right. So we got confirmation for that. So let's go ahead and read the reddening. Let's see what this says. The reddening indicates a full expression of the work. Everything is alive. The heart pumps, the cells celebrate, and the blood sings its way through the body. What was dormant has been awakened. You hear that, guys? What was dormant has been awakened. Everything is alive within the masculine right now. What was once considered base is now noble. Aches and pains are integrated. Shadows are acknowledged and interwoven. So they are now integrating and embracing the aches and pains. That's why we just saw the 10 of swords. They are acknowledging the shadows. When the reddening card appears, it signifies health, power, a climaxing of the work, a coalescing of what has been learned. A coalescing of what has been learned and health and power. They're making healthy moves, healthy boundaries. They're rising back up in their power. They're taking back their power where they've been losing their power or giving it away. The laboratory is no longer separate from the alchemist or from the work, but the three are now one. What occurs in the body is reflected in the world and vice versa. Again, as within, so without. That's what I said, right? Through the process of reddening, we move out of the head and into the physical body. More specifically, we reach the heart. They move, they're moving out of the head. They moved out of the head and they're in the heart, my loves. Red of the heart. This represents love and romance too, right? Okay. Um, it is there the alchemist finds the sacred ingredients of power and kindness. Okay. So I love that. Okay. So... And then let's go ahead and read, or I'll just kind of give the energy of the coagulation card. I say 223. Okay. This is a uh, coagulation is solidity, solidity, adherence, and stuckness. Okay. Um, I'm just like kind of reading through this really quickly. Okay, so I'm just gonna, okay, so basically this card speaks of, it says solidity, adherence, and stuckness. Okay, so it says, um, the formerly dispar disparate ingredients begin adhering together into a fixed and solid unit. So it's like, um, it's like fluid turning into a solid formation. Okay, so it's things becoming more solid. Okay, solidified. Um, the result is visible, reliable, and eventually concrete. Okay, so the, the, the Divine Masculine, you're going to see these results, these transformations, and it's going to be very visible, and it's going to be very reliable, okay, and eventually very concrete. There's where the Masculine has been going, and now it's like they want to, I'm getting concrete evidence, but they want to make things more concrete. When you hear the phrase, it's finally taking shape. Coagulation is underway. So it's finally taking shape, my loves. Can you believe this? This is what this card is saying. Things are finally taking shape. Things are finally shifting and happening on a huge, huge level. This is the alchemy of the union, of the transformation, the rebirth. The shadow aspect of coagula, co whatever. Is, <laughs> is that the elements may have come together without much awareness and in turn they became unconsciously attached. See, the masculine was unconsciously attached to very devil toxic patterns, right? 
and now they are consciously aware of these attachments. Inertia and resentment set in. So yeah, they've had a lot of that. There's a lot of resentment and um, like darker emotions that have risen up in their life about themselves, the situations that they're in, people around them. Um, and now they are transmuting lead into gold, those darker emotions. They are no longer just pushing them away or sweeping them under the rug. They're going, hey, this is pretty fucked up and I'm ready to do something about it. I see it. I need to transmute it. I need to shift it. I need to change it. Um, many long-term relationships have coagulation acts, aspects. A naturally occurring codependency, holy shit, that's the karmic energy, by which both parties feel unseen or unknown as individuals. The work of coagulation is to experience the merging with other while not losing oneself in the mush. So with you, it's with you, you guys merge together without losing each other. You guys, if you guys, a soul, true soul connection, like that's meant to be, that's destined you guys feed each other's souls. It's very healing and grow. It, there's a lot of expansion. You guys will grow together. You guys will lift each other up. You guys will skyrocket individually on your own paths, in your careers, in your passions, in your hobbies, whatever it is, right? Your light work. And then together as a unit, same thing, right? Whereas the karmic energies that they've, you know, where they've been, they're seeing it. They're seeing that, that there is a very codependent relationship that's been long term where both parties feel unseen or unknown as individuals it's like they it's trauma bonding energy it's like where they don't truly know each other they know each other but they don't truly know each other okay um and i would bet money that a lot of these you know uh if it's like you know it doesn't have to be a woman or feminine like I'm just getting a lot of like, like the feminine karmic energies feeling very unseen by the masculine. And that's another message that keeps coming through is a lot of, right? There's a lot of karma coming up and being healed at this time, right? So a lot of people who are in these karmic loops or in the karmic energies still, right? Even, right? They are starting to um, awaken to their own healing journeys and you know, um, and starting to rise up more in their power too. It's not going to be for all of them, you know, because I do know a lot of them are still very codependent and clinging, um, as the masculine rises, but I do feel a lot of them are rising up in their own power. So if they're feeling, you know, unheard, unseen, unloved, um, whatever it is, right. They are starting to detach from that and they're starting to rise up and go, Hey, I, I don't deserve this. I, I deserve more, you know? Um, and that will also help with creating these, you know, necessary endings, but it helps because like I said, like a lot of the karmic energies are maybe not so codependent as they once were. All right. So what else, what do we have for, uh, from the masculine in regards to this channeled message? One, one, one. Rest and rejuvenation. Look at this. You can't make it up. Look, one and nine is a 10, right? Which is really a one with amplified with zero. So we have one, one, one. As I literally said, one, one, one. This is someone who is, um, they're hold, they have, they're holding a lot. They're holding a lot in. Okay. They are trying to keep themselves calm and in a state of like peacefulness. This is someone who's been experiencing high levels of stress. They're being guided to like rest more, um, meditate, relax, breathe. This is someone who's ready for, for rest. Okay. They've been, uh, like I said, high levels of stress. Okay. I'm also getting like right PTSD, unhealed trauma wounds and stress. This is what the masculines have been living out and healing, and it's been coming up for them very heavily, which could be very uncomfortable and can cause a lot of, you know, anxiety and all kinds of things, right? Irritability, um, sadness, depression, but it's, it's working its way up and out. So it's being cleared these dense energies so they can rise up because that's like where they're ready to go. Cornucopia is like, 
I mean, it's extreme abundance and harvest and, you know, prosperous energy, the fruits of your labor, you know? Okay, and that's what I'm kind of getting is the masculine going, I want to enjoy my life. I want to enjoy the fruits of my labor. I'm, I want to live my life instead of feel like every day I'm in survival mode, which is where they've been. It's like every day they get up and they have to claw their way through their day. They're surviving. They're not living. Okay? And with you, Divine Feminine, it, it's like they can live. They can breathe. Okay? With you, you are their safe spot. You are the place where they feel they can come and be and, you know, be in stillness and peace and harmony and quiet. Do you know your energy is calming and soothing? It's meditative. Because that's a part of your guys' um, connection. Okay, look at this. I, I shuffled and I just look down again. Number three, blossoming abundance. Things are blossoming here. Um, the masculines, there's a lot of abundant energy starting to bloom and blossom within them where they are seeing and veering away from the lack relationships, lack way of thinking, lack mentality, lack living, and they are embracing the abundant energy of um, their higher self, the soul, their intuition. Um, yeah, this is what's this is what's happening here between you guys. This is what's supposed to happen here. This is this is where they're headed with this. Okay. This is also for you, like whoever's tuning in, more than likely divine feminine energy, but this is about your cornucopia, about your blossoming abundance, about the fact that you've been in solitude and um, you've really just been healing and connecting to spirit, to source, to your spirit. Okay. Everything moves in cycles, and this is the end of a lack cycle, a pain cycle. This is the time of abundance. We have spring coming up here in just a week. This is that energy of spring. Yeah, see, look, the flowers are blooming. This is someone who has, they hold so much appreciation towards you. So much appreciation, so much emotion and love. So much gratitude for you okay all tied up and the man holding the heart yeah they do have a lot of hostilities going on in their life i also feel that this masculine energy is very defensive over you um if people like i, I don't know it, there could be like people that maybe know you or have said something about you or, you know, have your name in their mouth. And I feel that the masculine is very defensive over you, very protective over you. But this does show that there is a masculine here holding a heart, man holding the heart, right? This is someone who, look at that, the reddening, remember the reddening? The reddening of the heart. The red of the heart is what the book said. There's your red heart, okay? And then look at all the red blossoming, blooming flowers all around. Yeah. They're, um, they are wanting to communicate and they're going to, they're going to communicate with their heart on their sleeve. They're going to come in just holding their heart, laying it on the table. This is someone who is all tied up. They've been all tied up about what they feel for you, about their love for you. Okay. You are holding this person's heart. You have their heart. You have their heart of hearts. Okay, this is also someone who's been very tied up. Okay, they've been, they've felt like tied up, stuck, right? Like I'm, I'm getting, I'm in too deep. Like they felt like they were in too deep with someone or something. Okay, this could also be like with that channeled message that I wrote out, this could also be them feeling like they're in too deep because of the time that's passed or you know, things like that, right? But that's not going to hold this person back. Yeah. See, the angel of strength is showing up because you are their angel of strength. You are their angel of strength. Through your angelic guidance, presence, um, energy, essence, whatever it is, uh, you have exuded extreme strength. 
and spiritual leadership and, and love. Okay, so I think that right now they are they are facing a lot of hostility, arguments, things of that nature, but they're using that sword and cutting it away. He's not messing around. He's not messing around. This is someone who is like they're 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 not gonna just let things like go anymore. They're not just gonna like sit and just deal and just let it right. This is not that. This is someone who is fighting back. Okay, all in the name of love all in the name of they have they've been having visions they've been using their third eye and manifesting future timelines and visions with you uh just about like life in general and they see this very expansive life up ahead you know where you know whatever it is maybe they want to expand in in their business or work um they have ideas they ha have travel plans they just want to have fun they want to you know, go on road trips, they want to, and they want to do that with someone who they feel is their true ride or die in life. And that's you. Okay, exactly. They're cutting away the hostile energies, the hostilities, okay, that have kept them tied up. Okay, they're in deep regret over choosing whatever they've chosen over you okay but they want you to know that you have their heart and they are tapping into this strength facing the hostilities and walking away and look i said the root chakra didn't i well the root chakra um you know it, it can be oftentimes right a blocked root chakra is when we have fear around our comfort zones, our stability, our home life, our natural survival, you know, basic needs, things like that, right? So I feel that this is someone who hasn't maybe walked away because they had a blocked, a blocked root chakra. Look at who's showing up. Archangel Michael with the root chakra. You see? And then I even said earlier about the eights. I said you could be even seeing numbers that break down to eight, like 53 or 35. Look, 35. Okay, um, yeah, see, they are moving out of anxiety cycles. Like, this is where they've been, okay? And I do feel that for, for a lot of them that they are connected with, you know, a third party that is also very um, maybe erratic or anxious because they can feel the masculine um, is no longer fearful of stepping out of the comfort zones. Okay, their root chakra is glowing bright where there's, it's, it's a flowing energy now where it's like, I'm not afraid to step out of where I've been and I, I see that to create stability and all the things in my life, okay, um, I need to do this, that, and the, and the next, okay? Archangel Michael is, is really big here with the masculine energies too. I've been saying that. Yeah, they're walking away from karmic contracts. They're fulfilled. By walking away, the contract is fulfilled. You see, they've learned the lesson. Okay, someone could be a life path number six. Um, they're walking away. They are completing these, these contracts, okay, because they are wanting to manifest this caring connection here. This is what they truly desire, okay? So, again, it's like, just like the cover me up song home was a dream one that i had never seen until you came along right all right let's get a love oracle message here and they they asked at the very end of this message that i channeled out they said i want to share some things with you i want to open up um which they really do they really want to come in from a very vulnerable standpoint they are in, you know, deep regret over, you know, their actions, their inactions, the time that has passed between you, you know, um, just the things that they chose, the directions that they went, right? But it was all a part of the plan. I mean, you know, had they not done that, right? Like, it, it was all about divine timing. It had to happen. But they're curious, will you receive me? So for some of you guys, you may want to send that out into the ethers. I know for a lot of you, you already have. 
you you already have opened up that sacred space and you're holding that space of yes i am open to receiving you um you know i'm always here for you you know that kind of a thing whether you know you're you know open to physical you know union with this person or not which i feel most of you guys are they they know that you are um They can feel that you're open, which is what's making them feel even more safe on an energetic level. Because you guys can feel each other, and right, on very profound levels. And that's what the masculine was saying. Like, I can feel you profoundly. Like, I maybe can't put into words what I feel, but I know what I feel, and I feel it. And it's very strong. Freedom. They are walking away. They are choosing freedom. They want to feel free in their life. And with you, they feel the freedom. They know that you are not someone who is going to try to control or, you know, um, you know, it's kind of like I'm getting like the, the, uh, the analogy of like, you know, like him saying to her, a karmic partner, whoever, right? Like, you know, oh yeah, you know, a few of us guys, you know, I was invited to go out, you know, um, they're all going, you know, to this bar to celebrate such and such's birthday, you know, just kind of a guy's thing, but she is very codependent and very insecure and there's a lot of jealousy and she makes a big deal about it and creates hostilities around this masculine having any independence away from her because it's codependent. But with you, you would never be like that. With you, you're the angel of strength. You would say, go have fun. I'll see you when you get back. You know, let me know if you need a ride later. You know, I love you. You know, go have a good time. That's what the angel of strength would say. And they know that about you. They, they know all this about you. These are huge epiphany moments, by the way, too, you guys. Like, they have felt this. But this is this is huge. The astrology, the, the, the equinox energy, the new moon, the eclipse coming up. It's all like this, like, it's like a, um, like a melting pot. A recipe, a melting pot for, for union to happen. And they are seeing it big and boldly. Freedom. There is nothing stopping you. The path is clear if you want it to be. Okay. So we have this feminine. We see the rainbow. The rainbows, you guys, are huge synchronicities right now for these divine unions and counterparts coming together. Or at least having a breakthrough. Some kind of serendipitous divine moment. Okay. But this is about their, what did I say? The inner feminine rising up. Transformation, rebirth, the lotus and I, I, it's exactly right. Okay. They're they're choosing freedom because they're feel, they're following like the voice of their heart and soul. Okay. They're doing what feels in alignment for them and right for them instead of doing what's right for everyone else anymore and people pleasing and trying to like not step, you know, it's like <laughs> I don't know, I'm kind of getting like walking through a minefield, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like that's like their everyday life is like, you know, like walking on eggshells, try not to like, you know, do this, do that. And they're tired, they're tired of it. They're seeing through it. They're like, they, that's what they're healing. That's what they're healing. Cause that's not, that's a codependent toxic way to live. Right. With what they've been dealing with. Okay. Soulmate. Okay. So again, so they are being, they are choosing freedom. There's nothing stopping them. The path is clear. They're clearing the path to get to you. And then the soulmate card. Your soulmate is already with you in spirit. That's what that's what the masculine is saying too. Like, I feel like you are, like your presence is all around me. Like, I feel like you're inside of me, like every inch of me, like every part of my being. And that's exactly it because you guys are already with each other in spirit. It says, believe this and they will manifest physically. Feminines, that's what you guys have known. And now, the, now it's manifesting physically. And I just saw 4444. Four, four, four. There it is. Your spirits are, your souls are already together. It's about 
the 3D coming together. Right? Right. Okay. Um, okay, so I did want to get a few messages before we go. I wasn't expecting this to be this long, but it is what it is. Okay, let's see. So um, let me know how this connects with you guys. And um, this is someone who I'm getting like, to, like tell the whole truth, like, like, do you swear to tell the, the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God or whatever, right? That's what I'm kind of getting here. Like someone who's coming from like the heart and they know they have to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth to you because you can see through it. You could see through the illusions before they could. You know, you saw through their own patterns and illusions before they could. All right, so let's go ahead and get a message here. What does this say? Deep inner child healing is taking place. Okay, that's the safety. That's them feeling safe. That's them taking better care of themselves, um, protecting themselves, you know, just like you would your, your own child. Would you let your own child sit and be in a toxic pattern or an addiction codependency no like you would do everything you could to like protect the inner to protect your child or help your child heal your child right whatever it is okay and this is an example but that's what they're doing i've never missed someone so much i'm hearing um I looked down and I saw her, okay? You could have like curly hair, brown hair, colored eyes, I don't know. Um, person can maybe even look like this. I'm like, hello. Um, you guys may resemble these couples, okay? I don't know. But as soon as I looked down at her again, I heard, how do you talk? to an angel and I feel that's literally what the masculine is like mulling over right now is like how do I uh, how do I talk to this angel how do I talk to this angel yeah look <laughs> I am done putting up with my karmics shit you guys that's exactly what the hostilities card and the tied up card was saying they are they're they're seeing it they're also tired of putting up with their own karmic stuff, right? Exactly. Because like attracts like. So, you know, if they're with a karmic partner, it's someone that they attracted in because they were in an equally low vibrational state. And now they've ascended beyond it. So it's no longer a frequency match. Father wounds. Okay, so there's a lot of inner child healing around father wounds. Okay, these masculines, especially if they are men... They grew up, um, I think, with for a lot of them, with very stern fathers, strict fathers, fathers who were really maybe hard on them, very unemotionally, uh, they were emotionally detached fathers. Like, they could have been very great fathers as far as, like, providing and sports and helping them and doing, right, um, you know, taking them on trips or whatever. But as far as, like, emotions go, these fathers have also, this is the generational curse breaking, these fathers also have great inner child and father wounds from their fathers, the grandfathers, and so on and so forth. These masculines are the first of their lineage and generations to break all this. Okay, so there is, there is a lot of inner child healing around the father wounds. where, And part of that is where their inner child, right, feels safe to be vulnerable and emotional whereas probably from a young age especially if they're boys men you know fathers can be I, I've seen it with you know in my own family with you know the boys and my brothers and stuff where it's like you know something happens and it's just like you know oh just brush it off and don't cry you know, cry, you know you're not a baby you know don't be a little girl those kinds of things are very wounding to children those things create very powerful um, wounds and blockages that will affect them later on in life. Okay. Like 
That's what the masculines have been clearing or are clearing, okay? I will never let you go, amor, no matter what, you and me forever, yeah. Aww. All right. So if you guys want to book your own personal reading, you want to hone in on your own twin flame journey, spiritual guidance, whatever's going on, um, you can find the information in the description box below. I offer a few different types of readings and spiritual services. So I'm a healer, you know, beyond just a psychic medium, right? Okay. I remember our past lives together. I can feel how much I have loved you. Yeah, see, they're feeling, they've awakened to the past life energy. They're feeling this, it's extremely powerful. I would be very surprised for a lot of you guys if this person didn't come forward, but you know, we can't, we can't say a guarantee, okay? And you know, I'm going to say this is going to be for a lot of you guys who have been on these journeys. Um, you probably have been in separation from this person for at least a year, at least I would say. Or more. I wonder if you feel as strongly as I do. I need to, I need to know. I want to talk. Yeah, see. Okay. Get one more, please. <gasps> Shania Twain, you're still the one. And then Lone Star. Look at the song showing up right at the end. Lone Star amazed. This is how they feel. And then Shania Twain, you're still the one. You're still the one I run to. The one that I belong to. Right? You're still the one I want for life. Right? I know I said last one, but I mean, this is just like too good. This is like too perfect. All right. So... Okay, bottom of the deck here. I am manifesting the ending between me and the karmic. Hashtag time. I'm just kidding. It's time. I think they've been manifesting this. And I think that they are actually taking some action with the hostilities card. And I feel like they are, they're done. They're done being controlled, manipulated. They're done, um, you know, with the guilt trips. They're done with all that. They've healed these toxic parts they're healing these toxic parts where all of that stuff was would work before because of the trauma bonding and the unhealed wounds and the lack of self-love and you know all of that stuff and that's the stuff that has risen back up with the inner feminine healing and rising you start embodying self-love you start embodying more of that i know my worth and my value you start feeling into your emotions more you start honoring what you feel more instead of just, you know, going through the motions every day. That's what's happening. All I want is for you to be happy. Please live your best life and have fun. Don't hashtag don't wait on me. So that what this is is saying, like, no matter what, this is what they want for you. Okay. And we don't ever wait on anyone. And I just think that's what the message is here. Okay. It's like, just keep doing you keep living your best life. Keep you know, because I can, it's like the more the feminine raises their vibration, it inadvertently affects the masculines and it inspires them to raise their vibration, right? So, okay. So just a little FYI. Um, but anyways, my loves, this is what I've got for you. I send love to everybody. I did not mean for this to be that long of a reading. Um, also in the description box is where you can find the info to pre-order a Lemurian, clear quartz crystal, uh, pendant. Okay. Necklace pendant. Uh, these are very powerful little crystals that were seated here by the Lemurians when Lemuria fell. Okay. For us in the new golden age to, to connect with, and these hold ancient wisdom, you know, uh, secrets, codes, activations, whatever you want to say from Lemuria, um, from the old ones. Okay, so that's why I was called to, to connect with these and do these. I've always been very connected to Lemurian crystals. Um, but yeah, if you're interested, I infuse them with light activations, um, light language. 
uh, quantum healing um, whatever the crystal calls me to infuse it with or connect with it connect it to because the crystal will already know who it's gonna go to and what that person needs um, you can charge I charge if you can charge them well you can charge them under the moon I charge them under the moon um, they are cleansed and charged under the sun with the light codes of the sun um, they uh, are charged with sound healing um, like you know heart chakra frequencies things like that but I also infuse them with um, abundance mantras from goddess Lakshmi and then also Lord Ganesh okay so I love you guys I hope that this connects resonates um, I am going to be recording after this an intimate um, message love message for divine union divine counterparts um, so if you are interested in that I will be posting it on the community page for the link okay um, the, the deck that I use is not YouTube friendly um, due to like the nudity and stuff. So, um, and I dive really deep and I get really like, um, I guess you would say personal with the messages. Okay. Uh, and as far as the intimacy and things like that and what they really want to express and feel and how they're feeling. Um, so we'll see what comes through, but I'm going to record that right now. Okay. So keep an eye out for that. And thank you for all of your love and support. Have a beautiful day, my loves. Namaste.